I am covered in money because I sell on Amazon FBA. Have you seen my graph this month? <laughs> This is what most people are communicating online. And they will post these graphs that will show how much they're making. And it is just not the reality, guys. And I've even seen news reports claiming that some guy quit his day job because he's just making so much money, he's rolling the dough. And the reality is, it's not true. So, I want to break down for you a little bit on how much you are actually gonna make on Amazon. And then we're gonna dive in today. I'm gonna actually show you how you can start to make some money today on the platform. Um, but I want to give you some understanding of the reality of the return out there. So remember that if somebody says that they are selling $10,000 in a month, they are then getting a profit of $2,500 back, right? But if they want money to come in the coming month, they have to put that money back on the platform. Now, if you have invested over a long period of time and you've put a lot of money back on the platform, you'll to continue to get some sort of return, right? So that's great, but what most people have realized is that if they don't put the money back on the platform, their profits back on the platform, then their money doesn't grow and they don't get as high as a return back. So when you're out there and you're looking at all of these sales and somebody says they sold a million dollars, remember that they're not pocketing a million dollars every month. The reality is, is that they're basically getting a profit of about 25% of that. And then they have to take the majority of that money and put it back on the platform to make more money. So, just make sure that you have this realistic expectation because I get so many requests from people that want to get rich quick and they think that this is an opportunity that they can just, you know, have no risk and get rich quick. So let's just remove the fake money <laughs> and realize that it's not a get rich quick situation. The only way that you can create a business through Amazon that is going to be continual that you can actually make a profit every month without putting all of your profits back on the platform and just using it as an investment tool is building a real business. So <laughs> I'm going to show you today how you can source online to get some great deals and begin to build your business, especially if you don't have any money to go out and buy certain services. There's a great service out there called eFlip where it allows you to find books online to sell, but it costs 80 bucks a month. So you have to be making um, that profit every month in order to really justify it. So I'm gonna show you today how you can do it without investing in anything. It's a great way to create a list of products that you source for, for on a regular basis that you know perform well. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is show you the spreadsheet I use to track all of the things that I do research on. This is good uh, for when you are calculating what your profits are going to be. Also keeps you from having to research the same old products over and over again. And you can really start to target the things that sell at a high uh, profit. Today we're going to uh, research textbooks and we're gonna do this manually even though there are some tools out there that you can utilize. But today we're just going to go into eBay and see what we can find to sell today. So the first column you'll see here, I have the book name. And I also put the ISBN number here if I can find it because that is very helpful. You have the average value, the high, the low, current FBA, uh, price, the condition, eBay cost, FBA fees, and this is gonna be my potential profit. Uh, I also kept put, list down here my budget, what my upfront spend is gonna be, and what my final profit will be. I subtract $5 for the amount of shipping that it's going to cost for me to send it into Amazon. So the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna open up eBay. And I just simply type in the word textbook. Then I go over here to the left and I click on hard hardcover. Then I want the newest books. So this one looks pretty good. It's $7.95. So I click on that. 
and you'll scroll down and you'll see all the other offers that are out there. So this is really inexpensive. We could probably expect that a lot of people are going to want to bid on this. It looks like they have two of these available. So that makes it even better. Copy the name of this textbook and I put it in my list. Cause you never want to do research on a book twice. So this really keeps you honest. And then you grab the ISBN number. Put that in there too. Then what I like to do is open up camelcamelcamel.com. I type in the ISBN number. And this is the hardcover. And then we want to click on third party used, unclick the Amazon. Even though this sometimes picks up sales that are done through Amazon FBA, I like to use this one because it keeps us a little bit more honest. Then I'll click on one year. So this will tell us the sales that have happened from last December all the way to where it is today. So you can see every time this spikes, it means it's a sale. So it started out around $85, went all the way up to 100 in last December, and it's done pretty well throughout the year. In August, there was someone that paid almost like 110 bucks for it, and right now it's about 56.85. So what I like to do is go down here and grab these numbers. You wanna make sure it's third-party used. And we're gonna put these in our spreadsheet. Then what I like to do is open up Amazon, type in the ISBN, and the book comes up here. So we can see there's hardcover, paperback, book supplement, and other sellers. You can rent, buy used, buy new. I want to click down here at the used. So this will tell me the lowest that somebody that is doing FBA is selling it for. So that's $69.80. So I know I can at least list it for $69.80 and this is good condition. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in $69.80, good condition. Now over on eBay, we wanna put in $7.95 and if I were to bid on this, then I would increase my bid and change this as we go because as this price goes up then this price will go down then I want to check on my phone for the fees and this is 1903 so we're looking at a profit of 4282 and 3782 after we put it into our shipment and obviously the more books we get this price will go up so this is a pretty good one to keep our eye on. And then you just continue to go through and look for similar books. But what you want to make sure is that you avoid any books that are really old because you want to get books that people are going to buy now. So guys, basically that's the process you would go through and you just keep on adding books until you get to the profit that you really want to get to and make sure that your you stay within your budget and once you have a list of these books that sell really well on Amazon then you can just always go back into eBay and even on Amazon and just watch for those prices you can in fact enter them into camel 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 and allow that platform to notify you when one of these products prices go down on Amazon which is really great because you could buy low and sell high so hopefully this tactic has helped you today and that you can, from home today, do some research and make some money. Thanks for watching my video and hope you subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.